Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about five tips regarding health and fitness and your New Year's resolutions. So obviously a lot of people have resolutions about being healthy for the new year and losing weight and all of these different things. And while that's great, I think that this should be a year-round thing. For me, it's more of an ongoing process where I get into phases where I eat super healthy and work out multiple times a week. There's also phases where I eat out all the time, eat very unhealthily. These are some tips that I keep in mind when I'm reevaluating weekly and monthly, just depending on how I felt the last week went and what I wanna do this upcoming week or month. And hopefully these tips will help you stick to your goals throughout the year, not just until February 1st. So without further ado, let's get into the five tips. Tip number one, use a fitness app. The idea is just to keep track of what you're eating, what you're doing throughout the day, to be active, how much water you're drinking, things like that. You don't have to use a fitness app for this. You can also just journal or type it up on your computer. So I personally use my fitness pal and one of the first things to go when I'm in just one of those phases where I'm super unhealthy is I stop tracking everything on my fitness pal and I don't wear my Fitbit anymore and don't keep it charged and I just kind of let everything go. But as soon as I'm in a healthier mindset and I know I want to actually try to be healthy and work out throughout the week, I make sure to charge my Fitbit and keep it charged throughout the week. And whenever I take it off, which is usually when I shower in the mornings, I make sure to keep it by my clothes so I don't forget it or have any excuse for not wearing it. And wearing my Fitbit also helps me to remember to track all of my meals on my fitness pal as well as keeping track of my water intake and for the most part i'm not really counting calories or anything this is just to help me keep track of what i'm eating and just as a way to reflect on my eating habits and what i can do to improve them just keeping track of everything even for a week really helps and opens your eyes to your current habits and what you can do to improve and what you can do to get closer to your goals. For example, I know I don't move very much while I'm at work or at school, so just having that number on my Fitbit makes it very hard to ignore that fact, and I try to make an effort to walk more throughout the day or work out if I can. So speaking of working out, let's talk about tip number two, finding your workout style. So I think this is really helpful if you're getting into fitness for the first time or if you're getting back into working out after a long break, but just try out a bunch of at-home workout programs like Blogilates, Tone It Up. There's so many online and I'm sure you can find something that interests you. Also try going to the gym with a printout of what exactly you're gonna do. You can find gym programs online easily as well, and also try to go to some fitness classes. And just by trying all of these different things, you kind of figure out what you're interested in and what motivates you to keep going back and what motivates you to work out as hard as you can. For me, it's working out in a class because the instructor can help me keep my form and shows us the moves, how to do them correctly, and helps motivate everyone throughout the whole class. And there's also people around me who are working out really hard, so it makes me want to work out as hard as I can too. And by the end of a workout class, I feel like I've worked out way harder than I have when I work out by myself. So going along with that, tip number three, sign up for classes or a gym. So this obviously ties in with tip number two, but last quarter I ended up signing up for a membership at a gym that's right by my house. And the reason why I signed up for it was because they only offer classes and I don't need any of that other stuff if I'm just gonna use the classes. So that was reason number one, because I know that classes motivate me. And reason number two was that by paying for it, it kind of forces me to get my money's worth, especially as a poor grad student. Even though I really slacked in November, looking at my bank account and seeing that money getting taken out every month, but just looking at my bank account really reminded me how much more I need to go in January when I get back to Seattle from break. If you don't have the money to sign up for classes or a gym, try getting a friend to work out with you or to keep you accountable. Even if they're across the country, you guys can text back and forth throughout the day say that you're gonna work out and eat healthy and then check back in with each other at the end of the day just to make sure that you actually did it and you're a lot less likely to let that person down because they know your goals and they're gonna help you keep on track and if they do live close to you you can meet up and work out together and it makes it a lot harder to cancel on them because they're gonna be mad if they're the only ones at the gym and they're waiting on you so tip number four plan ahead on Sundays I kind of like to plan out my whole week or at least know what I need to get done by the end of the week so 
I look at my Google Calendar and my to-do list app, which currently is Wonderless. And I also look online for my gym's schedule and I make sure to put in the classes that I think I can make it to throughout the week onto my Google Calendar. So I have no excuses. I know I can make it and I know I have time to make it to those classes. The worst things that you can do is just try to think about it on the day of when you have a million things that you need to do and you're just busy and you think you just don't have time to work out. Whereas if you had planned ahead, you might have noticed that you have a pretty long break between work and class and that would be the perfect time to go work out. Planning workouts can make them so much more doable because you know you can do them that day. And of course things come up and you might not be able to make it, but at least you have a few more workouts planned for the week. So while we're talking about planning ahead, tip five shop smarter. So we all know not to go to the grocery store when you're hungry because you're sure to buy things that you don't need and you just buy things out of hunger, but also make sure to have a list. While you're planning your week on a Sunday or whenever you do it, try to plan out what you want to eat throughout the week. So then you have a grocery list to go by and you won't have any wasted produce and you won't be at a loss on a particular day of the week because you have the ingredients already to make something. Also make sure that you're being realistic. For example, I know that sometimes I don't have time to cook food, so I try to buy some healthier options than just eating out. So I try to buy healthier frozen meals or healthy pre-made food at the grocery store and I also make sure that I have chips or chocolate or whatever I'm craving that week just so I'm not depriving myself of things that make me happy and I'm not going crazy. So hopefully this helps you go into the new year and stick to your resolutions. Let me know in the comments below what are some of your tips and how do you stay motivated throughout the year not just around new year's resolutions time. If you liked it give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone!